Hey guys, welcome back to Insane Brit Gaming. I'm the Insane Brit, and today's food review is a Sainsbury's product. Yes, I know I've been going to Sainsbury's an awful lot, uh, primarily, and I've been meaning to go to other stores, and I apologise for that. Um, it's just convenient, because of when I'm shopping and stuff, it's right there, so I pick something up that's interesting, a bit tasty, um, you know, and a lot, of, some, a few people ask for desserts, particularly... I really like dessert. So, I picked up another dessert, as it were. So, this is the Bakewell Tart from Sainsbury's. <coughs> Butter-enriched pastry filled with frangle pan and raspberry jam. Oh, I like raspberry jam. Topped with flake almonds. So, if you're, that's nuts, obviously. So, if you're allergic to nuts or anything like that, stay away from this product completely. So, there it is. I think it's about two pounds overall. Get cream or custard. Uh, now, I have personally gone with custard, but I've made a bit of a ricket here, because I've gone with the same custard as I did a few weeks back. It is very delicious, very sweet, very tasty, uh, absolutely delicious, but at the same time, I should have taken this opportunity to review another product, maybe some cream or something, and I haven't done that, so my apologies. Like always, we are going to be reviewing the product by itself, uh, without the custard, of course, and I'll give it a score, and I may add the custard, I may not, I might just leave it out completely, depending. Uh, like I said, you can... Um, put this in the oven for 15 minutes it's been a super hot week so there's no way in hell I am eating a hot meal right now or hot pie I love hot pie but my god or whatever this is you know I'm, I'm sorry I'm not doing it it's too hot uh, I look like crap anyway I'm sweating it's just one of those days where it's just boiling hot and 30 degrees I believe uh, so I do have a knife I normally would have done this downstairs but I'm just gonna cut into it here and have a slice seems very soft when I cut into it so it's nice and easy you can eat this cold, as I said, so that's what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit annoying. I've actually, actually, no, I cut a different piece. Okay, because I want to get some of the, uh, all the flavours. I want to get the, uh, the nuts on here. <laughs> okay, I hope this goes well in terms of me trying to get the product out. Okay. So, I've cut it, or what I believe to have cut. Let's see how to do this now. <sighs> so, I'll just do it over this side, actually, to make it easier for me. Alright. Very good. Okay, as you can see, it's come out in one slice, so that's pretty good. <sighs> Again, I'm just dying of this heat, man. Give me one second, guys. too hot. It's just ridiculous. Trying to enjoy my piece of tart, or whatever it is. <laughs> Bakewell tart, as it were. Anyway, so like I said, it's the product itself. And here we go. So it's surrounded by some pastry. Seems quite light. And seems to have quite a bit of... Um... Sorry, let's just move this. It's in my way. <clears throat> So almonds, raspberry jam. Okay, so it's filled with raspberry. Butter enriched. Okay, right. So I just yeah. So that's a raspberry. So it seems to have quite compact. So let's take. I'm going to taste the crust first. Okay, it's kind of hard to break into. Okay, not too hard. All right, whatever. Come on, what the hell. Mmm. Wow. The pastry is very light and it is very rich. You can really taste that pastry or the buttery you know, the content. But um, the, 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 the uh, raspberry jam is like a lightning bolt, like pew, it hits you and you're like, oh, that's delicious. You know what I mean? That that brings it together. It's all about that raspberry jam. Very delicious, like the, the jam in itself. So, I mean, I like raspberry jam anyway, but that that does quite nice. Mmm. That raspberry jam is really, really sweet. 
Oh, forgive me. Damn it, I haven't got a drink. Oh, well, I forgot. But, um, that raspberry is very, very sweet. Hits you nice, man. That is delicious. Now I'm going to try some of the almond nuts with the raspberry jam and some of the pastry. This should be interesting. The nuts are nice. They put a, like another element of flavour on it to a point, but nothing concrete. Nothing that would uh, zing it up any more than it is. Um, there is a different flavour dynamic slightly, but nothing major that, that changes the context of what this is. It is buttery. The pastry is very strong, like in terms of flavouring, um, though it is light. So you've got a light pastry, um, strong taste. The uh, the raspberry jam is kick ass, but the nuts for me are okay, but they don't do a lot there for me. Right, at least at this point, I'm not really tasting a lot of them. Like um, they're not doing much for the actual product in itself. Hmm. Kind of, I'm tempted to score it now, actually, before even finishing it. But for me, like I said, in summary, now it's much changed. The uh, pastry is light, which is always a good thing. Um, the, the the taste of the buttery pastry or whatever is quite strong there. But the jam, the raspberry jam, really is the the, the, the kicker here, uh, the, the the main part of it, obviously. And it's doing a great job. The nuts are essentially non-existent to a point, you know what I mean? That They're like, if everyone else is giving uh, 5% to make this product work, the nuts for me are just like adding 1%. It's not really there. It's a, making it a little bit crunchy, but it's not really doing anything in the flavor factor for me. Uh, just a different dynamic. So on the, the product score on its own, um, I'm going to give it a good... It's kind of hard. I'm tempted to say 4, but I want to go 3. Um, it's, it's in that three or four mark because pastry is is, is kind of tasty. Yes, um, it is light. Yes, that's a good factor. The jam is doing uh, all the work here, in my opinion. So I'm going to give it a three. Uh, but that is the product on its own because the nuts ain't really adding anything to it. Um, so let me just um, sorry because I want to add. <coughs> sorry, this thing's slipping. It's so hot today. So if I can just add one more piece. I'll just add a small piece to it in itself onto the plate. And now I will add the custard. I'll just have uh, a go at this to see how much better or worse this makes it taste. I don't think it'd be worse, to be honest with you. Of course, like I said, you can get cream, so. Damn it, I just realised I've got a brand new carpet and I'm fucking around with custard. Alright. Give me one second. All right. So I'm just going to pour it on. Just not too much. That is enough. Okay, I didn't get any anywhere, thank God. Woo! All right, so let's taste it with the custard. Hmm. You're still getting that rich taste of the pastry, the creamery, buttery, whatever. The custard kind of overpowers the actual product in itself, to be honest with you. It 
the moisture of the product itself isn't that bad. It's not bad that like that. The raspberry jam again doing all the work or whatever, but um, the custard's all right. But again, it overpowers the actual product in itself. Uh, and again, at the end of the day, I'm tasting the jam more than anything. The jam's doing all the work. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so for me the custard overpowers it. The custard is nice, don't get me wrong, but for this particular product maybe I should have went for it. um in conclusion, I go back to what I originally said. It is quite light, the pastry, very buttery. Uh, the jam is, is, is the main factor here, kicking off. There is enough of it. The nuts for me don't pull its weight. So I'm going to basically stick with my conclusion, guys. Uh, I'm going to say a three out of five. It's not, it's like average there. You know, it's, it's not the best, it's not the worst. Um, I just think that the nuts themselves uh, on it, the almond nuts, don't do enough for me. Um, and it's all the jam doing the work, the main factor of the actual product. Try cream instead of custard, I would advise. Say light for a light uh, thing itself. The meal may be even a hell of a lot better hot. I don't know. You'd have to uh, try that for yourself. But again, I'm only basing it on getting out of the fridge and then for convenience. And on a super hot day as well. Oof, I'm not cooking it. Um, it's only 15, 20 minutes in the oven anyway, so it's not like a big deal or anything. Good for uh, desserts after meals. On a Sunday or whatever, break that up, give everyone a slice maybe if you want. Uh, maybe uh, do the same. Just apple pie and stuff like that and other flavours you can get as well. Uh, so I'd recommend those especially. Um, apple pie, apple crumble, my mistake, which I absolutely love by the way. Oh my god, the winner for me is apple crumble, my favourite dessert uh, ever. Um, but yeah, I will leave a product in the link in the description below. Don't forget to leave your uh, questions for the Q&A that's coming up. Um, I might delay it by a week, I don't know, depending on when you're seeing this video. A lot of gamers are missing out on gaming questions and what are my favourite game at E3, what's my favourite anime. I know a lot of you are food people um, and that's a reality. So you're asking, you can't think what to ask me or food related things. You're like, because you're only watching the food rules. You're like, eh. and I understand that to a point. Uh, but if you are a gamer, get those questions in uh, or an anime fan or whatever or whatever gaming questions you can ask. What's my favourite uh, franchise? What's my favourite bosses? Whatever questions you want to ask, you can contact me on Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, all links to my social media in the link in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. Oh, I've said all that. <laughs> Repeating myself now. And uh, I'll see you in the next food review. Whatever that may be, I do not know what it is. I never know. I just find something that's interesting or get recommended. I might pick it up. I might not. It might take a few weeks. And uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.